We all need to feel safe in the arms of another appropriate mammal. That's a serious conclusion of a serious neuroscientist, Stephen Porges, in the polyvagal theory. We all need to feel safe in the arms of another appropriate mammal. Sounds like a funny thing to say aloud. Why is that? It's obviously true, and I'll readily confess that some of my best relationships have been with dogs, more predictable, more devoted. At times, canines have seemed more appropriate, less of a different species than some women I have loved. We all long to be in relationship with another being, two bodies attuned, conveying non-verbally what E.E. E. Cummings expresses in language so beautifully. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. In each other's hearts is how mammals best manage our fear, grief, or self-loathing, our panic, or pain. Indeed, if a responsive heart is unavailable to us, it's hard to get regulated, overwhelmed and vulnerable, unseen, unheld. We move predictably into survival, pushed into fight, flight, submission, or the oblivion of shutdown. I don't know why this composition came to me this week, uninvited and spontaneous, but it reminds me of other appropriate hearts I have held in mine. Long dead, my dog Pip, a liver-colored springer, chased rocks I threw, even down into the beaver pond. He would pluck those rough balls clenched in his teeth off the muddy bottom to come up gagging. He had a furious commitment to the game, as if joy was worth drowning himself. He carried sticks the size of small trees, tripping over his front legs with such serious devotion to the ridiculous. He bounced on his hind legs through the tallest brush, full-on shivering, reckless, and lacking grace, as if the greatest prize was scattering birds, the shock of beating wings flung skyward like angels. I wondered if he even had one reasoned thought in his flop-eared head. But some nights I dream of him still, as we are rising over moonlit fields together, flying, impossible limbic companions, and my heart remembers how he belonged to me, and I to him, as if the best love could be delivered with bad breath on a coarse tongue.